and my soul rise up ting ting like glitter What is up guys it's around it's around 11:30 right now and I'm here to shake right here I have like one scoop of gat nitroflex so this has around 250 mg of caffeine pure code shake we're going to be hitting a back and bicep worker today my back is feeling a bit better so i think that i'm going to perform well so yeah it's fucking hot in chennai right now Whew. this vlog contains a story about how i missed my flight way back from delhi to chennai never knew this angle was so good so yeah i'm just exploring new angles guys so yeah i missed my flight from delhi to chennai if you guys didn't know it's a funny story and it's a pretty stupid story stay tuned for that There's some kind of a heat wave going on in Chennai, and it's really hot. Case like it's it's more than hot. Okay, it's not. Hot. It's kind of like you're sitting inside an oven. That's how bad it is, and it's pretty bad. Like the the temperature is not that high. It's just like 10 to 35 degrees centigrade. It's pretty okay for Chennai, but the minute you step outside, whew. like right now, I want you guys to listen to what I'm saying. So I've turned on the AC, and it's just been like 10 seconds, and I can't even sit. So that's how bad Chennai is. So yeah, uh, I don't know how the workouts are gonna go because of this. I'm drinking lots of water. So if, I know it's summer time all over, and in Delhi it's even worse. Like Delhi, Punjab, all these places are like fucking horrible. Like what the fuck just happened? Whoa. Okay. That was weird. Something just fell on my car. I think that's gonna be a dent on my car. So yeah, Delhi, Punjab, very bad. So make sure you keep yourself hydrated, and at least in Chennai you kind of sweat. So because of this you no know, sweating problem, you're gonna start drinking lots of water. You're going to get thirsty. But in Delhi, it's like it's kind of dry heat. That's no humidity. So you're going to you know not sweat, but still the heat is going to be there. But make sure you push yourself to drink more water and keep yourself hydrated, or you're gonna end up getting a headache, and that's gonna destroy everything. So keep that in mind. So I'm here eating some fried rice. And this has like some 250 grams of uh, rice and then 100 grams of chicken. I uh, added some onions and capsicum. It looks pretty good. So this is what I'm having right now. And 
going to title the video how I missed my flight so that's a pretty interesting story so basically what happened was we had the influencers meet and then we had to uh, after we had a lot of time so me and Nish thought that we'll go and get a workout in so we did that and then it, it, it became pretty late for us to leave and I had no idea about the Delhi traffic like Delhi traffic is really bad so we got, a, we got caught up in traffic and we are on the way to the airport then what happened my flight was supposed to leave at around I read the flight thing as 8.50 and they, gave, they sent me a message saying that it can leave anytime earlier but I didn't receive any message after that so what happened we are stuck in the traffic and then I called the spice jet like Yesh asked me to call the spice jet people I called them and inquired about my flight because I thought I was going to get late because of traffic turns out my flight has already left so we are on the way to the airport and like we, I missed the flight they told us the flight has already left so yeah it was pretty bad so I had to like immediately check for tickets so that I could get back home and the tickets were like freaking expensive they were around 16,000 rupees which I am not going to pay so I booked a ticket for the next day it was pretty cheaper the next day so I did that and then I had to go back home with Yash so he was kind enough to take me in so I stayed there so yeah this, this was my story on how I missed the flight so, so here is the advice that you guys get out of this next time make sure you don't do anything before your flight and because these days the flight timings differ a lot they they go they leave whenever they want to leave they like for example my flight in delhi was supposed to reach by 9 30. they left me at 8 50 saying that no we, we reached earlier like spice jet has reached earlier again which is not a pretty cool thing because i have to wait in the airport for like two hours so these days flights are just on and off this they do whatever they want so yeah i learned my lesson What's going on guys? I'm back here. She just got back today. So, you know, uh, <clears throat> she's been gone for like almost a week. Hope I'm focused. So yeah, she's been gone almost for a week and she finally got here. The fan is making a lot of noise. We need an AC. Plug. So I'm going to go cook some breakfast. I'm going to make some uh, eggs and I'm going to show you guys how to make the most fluffiest omelette you've ever seen in your life so yeah this is a recipe for the books so make sure you note this down you're gonna make some good eggs so i'm gonna show you guys how to make some really good omelettes right now so i have some eggs so i'm gonna be using three whole eggs for me and i think two for Kriti. so we're gonna use five eggs no i just have normal eggs so what i'm gonna do is first beat these eggs together this them nice and good you know but I'm gonna add a secret ingredient to it. Extra ingredient that is gonna make your eggs super extra fluffy. So make sure you know this down. This is a good recipe. This is like one of the omelets that you would get at a five star restaurant or you know at the uh, flight. So I have some chopped vegetables right here. Not a lot because you don't put a lot in omelette. I have some finely chopped onions. See how fine it is. I have good chopping skills, right? Good. So I'm gonna take the bowl. I'm gonna break the eggs. Okay. So I'm putting five eggs. Okay. So three for three for me, two for you. Okay. Two. So how do you know if the egg is good or bad? So basically, when you like break the egg, sometimes the egg is like kind of mixed inside. That happens, or you get a foul smell from the egg. That happens. So if that does, if see, you can see that the eggs are pretty good, and there's no bad smell in it. So this is how you know if the eggs are good or bad. So, yeah. 
So for that, I'm going to take a spoon. Okay, so now we're going to secret ingredient. Show them what it is. Milk. So basically, when you add milk, uh, it softens the eggs, like I told you guys in the previous clip. So not a lot, just add very little amount. So here, I'm gonna add like, that's it. Try like some. I thought that's only for scrambled eggs. No, 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 it comes with formula also. Very little bit, okay. That's all. So you add the egg and then you whisk it again. The key to a soft omelette is whisking it. Make sure you make sure the egg gets inside. That makes it nice and fluffy. And now I'm gonna add some vegetables in here. Right? And some vegetables for her. Okay, so here's the thing, we're not going to add a lot of uh, you know spices, we're just going to add salt and pepper. So salt, you add it before you put it inside the pan. Okay. And pepper, you add it when you're making the omelette. Because salt kind of dissolves mm -hmm. and pepper doesn't. So that's the right reason. Okay. Let's go again. Okay. Look at that. So we add. Mm -hmm. This is how you get it. Kind of roll it up. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's on. So this is how you make an omelette. That's good, right? So then the omelette. Yeah. How was the omelette? It was really, really delicious. Yeah. It was really delicious. Was it like one of the omelettes that you get in like you know the the flights and the breakfast buffets? I think it was better than that. Huh? It he cooks really well. I mean, I would make fun of him, but he really, he cooks really well. I have nothing to say. <laughs> so this is going to conclude the video, and I have something to show you guys. I've been sent a product for reviewing, so I have to review this product. It's called as Acumas. So make sure you catch this review on my other channel. I think I'll be posting it in the next uh, four or five days. So basically, this is like an Ayurvedic formula to gain weight, apparently. So I'll do my research on it and then make a review on the other channel. So let's show you guys the product real quick. This is what they sent me. This is the product is called Acumas. They also sent me like a small tablet thing. So this has 60 capsules. Ayurvedic formula to help gain weight. Again, this is like a powder kind of stuff. This is not a protein powder. This has all the ingredients in this are like Ayurvedic, uh, you know, things like all these ashwagandha and all these things. So I'll make my research on this and then start to make the review. So thanks for watching. Both of us are doing some online coaching work. If you want some online coaching, make sure you send me an email at gotamansubafit at gmail.com and I'll see you guys on the next video.